it's time for Culpeper Blue Devil Basketball. Good evening, everybody. Donnie Johnson along with Gary Deal. And tonight we bring you the girls game between the Culpeper Blue Devil girls and the Spotsylvania Knights. Culpeper trying to get back even tonight. They have a record of six wins and seven losses. Had a, a big loss last night in a makeup game. Spotsylvania's having a terrible year. They are three wins and 10 losses. And on paper, this looks like a win for Culpepper. Yeah, and that's the good thing about watching the Culpepper girls play, Donnie, and watching Amaya Robinson and Kelly Hutcherson and, and her teammates. You never know what to expect. I mean, I think they're, uh, they have a lot of potential. I think they're going to be playing a lot better. And then you have a loss last night that kind of surprises you. But it's so much fun watching Amaya Robinson play. She's a sophomore. She had a 53-point game, averaging 27 points a game. Against the Spotsylvania Knights. Yes, exactly. So you never know what to expect if, if, the, if the coach is going to double-team her on the other team or if they're going to play her straight up. It's always fun to watch these cup upper girls. Well, she's averaging about 27, 28 points a ball game. And uh, then you got Kelly Hutchison who averages in the teens and also gets eight rebounds a ball game. So they're a dynamic duo. Uh, the uh, rest of the, the starters, you know, they just have to fill in and help get these girls some points. I agree. I agree. And um, when we watched the Orange game, Orange versus the Culpeper girls, they double teamed Amaya, uh, played straight up defense on uh, Kelly, and let Kelly have hers. And uh, it was pretty successful. So we'll see what the Spotsylvania coach comes out with tonight. If they go boxing one on Amaya, we'll see how that works out. Well, a lot of that has to do with do you have the people that can guard her because she's a pretty prolific shooter. So we'll see if Spotsylvania has the horses that can take her down. Exactly. We'll be back with the starting lineups and tonight's ball game in just a moment. Culpepper hosting Spotsylvania on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech. Located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. We are back, and we are just about set for tonight's game between Culpepper and Spotsylvania. Uh, Gary Deal, we missed all last week, a couple of ball games there because of snow. We've had snow outs and flood outs and ice outs, and now maybe we've got the one week of winter over, and we're back in the saddle again, as Gene Autry would say. Let's have a starting lineups here for Spotsylvania. Spotsylvania, we have uh, number one, Ellie number four, Cox Amaya starting. Black. Number four, number four Amaya Black. Black. Number two, Samaya Patterson. And number 23, number 14, Black. Kelly Rose. And number 23, Jayla Black. Number Culpepper. And for Culpepper, the Culpepper County Blue Devilettes. Number two, Edwards. Number two, Olivia Edwards. Number three, Kelly Hutcherson. Number three, Kelly Hutcherson, the junior. Number 10, Averaging Emma eight rebounds Carson. a game. Number 10, Emma Carson. Number 11, Susie Ishmael. Number 11, Susie Ishmael. And number 21, Maya Robinson. Number 21, Amaya Robinson, the sophomore. Extraordinary. And uh, one thing about Susie Ismail, uh, they had the recognition of the seniors on the indoor track team. And Susie was 
uh, introduced there. So she is a two-sporter. Exactly, Donnie. She's quite the athlete. And uh, you love, we've, we've talked about her before. We love watching her play because she hustles and uh, gives it 100% every, everywhere on the court and every time on the court. Well, good Spotsylvania stop, Amaya Robinson. That is the, uh, that's going to be the big story in this ball game. And will they just try to let Kelly uh, Hutchison get her points and, you know, put three people on Amaya? I think it's probably what they're going to have to do. They didn't the first time around. First time around, Culpepper won easily. And Amaya got 53 points, a school record, boys, girls, anybody. So she could put it up there. She can, Donnie, and like you said, it's it's a good game to watch because Amaya may come out and score 40 or 50 again. Who knows? And, uh, you know, for a sophomore uh, and averaging 27 points a game, which is one of the highest averages, if not the highest in the state, uh, it's, it's great recognition for Culpepper, I think. Absolutely. Olivia Edwards will be jumping for the double Ets. Well, the Lady Devils, as they are sometimes called now, and the tap goes to Spotsylvania. Knights bring it down. Jayla Black on the outside. Makes a move. Goes down into Ishmael. Can't get the shot to go. But Spotsylvania keeps the ball. And shot in, a pass inside is thrown away. Here comes Robinson. Amaya off the glass there, couldn't get it to go, but follow up. I think Spotsylvania knocked that ball in, but we'll give it to Susie Ismail. Two nothing, double X. And a foul is gonna be called on Edwards. Pretty fast uh, paced game so far, Donnie, and Amaya, uh, uh, Running the break real well and uh, taking it to the basket. Jella Black at the line. First shot up and in. She'll get two. Kelly Ross comes over and gives her a little bit of encouragement. Let's just let's get the second. And she does. Swishes both of them. And we're tied at two. Early in the ball game, Culpepper and Spotsylvania. Spotsylvania, of course, in the orange. And Black, Robinson, ooh, fade away. Two points for Amaya Robinson. Actually, that was a step back, Donnie. She's got that move down, and uh, she can uh, uh, shake and bake, and she's got the step back uh, move. She can shoot the ball. She's uh, quite the player for a sophomore. She got the roll on that one, and we got a steal. Ball came off jail of Black's foot. And here comes Robinson. And that was not a great shot there. Well, I think the one thing that she's going to have to learn to do is finish at the basket instead of finishing fading away. Uh, it's a weak, it's a weak finish, and she's got she, something for her to learn to make her a better player. In the corner, Spotsylvania brings it outside with Amy Black, and we've got. Ishmael on the drive, and Ishmael has it partially blocked. Saved by Robinson, three-pointer. Too hard. And the ball will go over to Spotsylvania. 4-2. Culpepper leading early in the ball game. First uh, coming down on the two-minute mark. Kelly Cox. Jayla Black outside looking. Culpepper playing man to man. Knocked away by Ishmael. Almost a steal and now a steal. Robinson all the way, easy layup. Four points now for Amaya Robinson. Give credit to that basket to it, Susie Ishmael, Donnie. She, she caused that turnover up with another rebound there or steal uh, from a batted ball. She's playing really well right now. Robinson for three from outside. Hutcherson follows no. Scramble and 
A foul is going to be called. We'll see who they call it on. And Spotsylvania with the basketball, trailing by four. Patterson kicks it outside. Black. Jayla Black now down under. Ten footer will not go for Spotsylvania. Kelly Cox put it up. And here comes Kelly Hutchison, who takes a three. No. Cox comes down with a loose ball and gets it out. Not a high scoring game here, 6 2, and we're ha almost halfway through the first period. That three pointer will not go by Amaya Black. We've got two girls, uh, I, I think they're sisters, Amaya and Jayla. Yeah, I think um, for Culpepper to really improve this year and to take it to the next level during the district playoffs. They're going to have to pass the ball a little bit more, work the ball, ball movement, get Kelly down in the low post more, and uh, get her some post-up uh, shots down there. Nice block there by Kelly Ross, and a travel is called underneath. And Spotsylvania will get the ball out. That was a really nice block there by Kelly Ross for Spotsylvania. Spotsylvania used to have the blue uniforms. I don't know where this orange came from. A little trouble handling the ball there for Maya Black. Now Jayla. And she traveled. Cole Pepper's playing good defense. Good man-to-man -man defense. I'm surprised that uh, the Spotsylvania coach is not double teaming or playing boxing one on Amaya. I just think it's a matter of time before she gets hot and starts hitting basket after basket. Well, there's a three-point shot that won't go. Both these teams are a little ragged. We watched the JV game, and JV game was pitiful there for a while because these kids didn't play last week, and you know, they didn't practice a lot. So, you know, it just takes them a while to get back in the gear. You know, both these teams played last night. Spotsylvania lost to King George and Culpepper lost. But uh, they're still not back in good form. And no backcourt. Yes, there is a backcourt there. I, I didn't know whether she'd take the ball all the way across before she tossed it back. See, if, if Kelly would get down in the low post and post up and play off of her, Amaya Robinson would get shot, free shots all the time. And if they didn't come down and double team Kelly, Kelly could go one on one and score in the low post every time. And on these breakaways, Amaya's got to take it straight to the basket. If she doesn't get the basket, she gets the foul. Yes. Instead so of coming down on the side. There's Kelly in the low post. Gotta and make she those. can't hit it. Another shot up. No good. Robinson. Stops, kicks it over, Ishmael. Short, and she's fouled. One thing I do see some improvement on with Amaya is first part of the season, she wasn't really looking to pass at all, but now she is looking to pass some, and uh, once she learns how to do that and to learn the peripheral vision where everybody is on the court, she's really going to improve. Well, the thing of it is, if she gives it up, she may get it back. In a, in a more, in a better situation to shoot. Yes. Rather than trying to force it. Ishmael gets the first, and Susie's second shot off the glass, no good. Robinson, or Hutcherson missed it. Double team, Spotsylvania gets it out. Cox off the glass and good. Nine to four. Spotsylvania trailing by five. Robinson. Hutcherson down low. 
Ishmael has it knocked out of bounds, as they say, it went off Susie's leg, so it will belong to Spotsylvania. Devilette's not looking all that impressive here early. Patterson finally gets it out to Jayla. Black, Black down low. Three pointing from outside, no good. Good defense by Culpepper. Spotsylvania still gets the shot away, but uh, it went over, hit the top of the backboard or the wire up there, and so it will turn over to the Devils. 147 to go in the first period. Nobody's broken double figures yet, nine to four. Devilettes are leading. Hutcherson inside, turns, puts it up, off, way off balance. Yeah. She posted up that time, though, Donnie. It, yep. Kelly's yep. just got to work on her footwork a little bit and on her uh, inside low post moves. Uh, if she if she improves that over the next several games, Culpepper's got a potential to go a long way. Steal by Culpepper. Robinson driving, stops, turns, fades, puts it in. And the follow-up is in. 11-4, Culpepper. Jayla Black in the corner. Working baseline. Nice pass inside, but the shot will not go for Kelly Ross. Culpepper comes away. Two on three, break. Hutcherson can't get it in. Nice hand in there by Susie Ishmael. Ball, ball will stay with Spotsylvania, however. 45 seconds in counting. First period. Jayla Black. And a steal. Robinson wide open for two. It's good defense. Good hands by Amaya on that. Spotsylvania. From the corner, three-point shot way off the mark there by Kelly Ross and out of bounds to Culpepper. 17.5 seconds. Devilettes will try to get the last shot of the quarter. Robinson. Down low, Hutcherson turns as it partially blocked. Spotsylvania, three seconds. And... Emma Carson gets the last handle of the ball, but the quarter comes to an end with a score. Kyle Pepper 13 and Spotsylvania 4. You're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Kyle Pepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home. Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpepper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. Well, just as scripted, the uh, first quarter, Culpepper in command, and uh, also as scripted, uh, Amaya Robinson leading the way with six points. Uh, Kelly Hutcherson with four. And Robinson has the ball as we begin play the second quarter. Robinson backs up, takes a three, no good. Rebound, Susie Kid, uh, 
Susie Kidwell. <laughs> Susie, <laughs> I'm about 30, 40 years too late to Susie Ismael. Susie Kidwell was a, um, a cheerleader, Donnie. She was. Susie lives over at Falk here. I, I did her all her girls' pictures as they went through Falk here. Spots of aim with the ball. A little backcourt pressure now by Culpepper. Amaya Black gets it in to Jayla Black. Good defense. Girls are playing good defense. They are playing well. Susie Ishmael got a hand in there and just enough to get called for a foul. Checking in there for Spotsylvania, Ellie Cox coming in and going out, uh, Samaya Patterson. Kelly Ross working the ball to Jayla Black. Robinson on her. And Robinson will not let her by. Almost a steal there by Ishmael. Can't get that one up. Kelly Hutchison with the block. Robinson. All the way, her eighth point of the night. That was a good block and uh, a good takeaway by Kelly, uh, Kelly Hutcherson on that. And look at who's on the floor scrambling for the ball and getting it, Susie Ishmael. She's had quite a first half, Donnie, playing good defense and uh, getting a lot of loose balls. And Robinson, three more. That's her first tray of the night. Yeah, once she gets going, if they don't double team her, she's going to She's going to go off for 30, 40 points. And Spotsylvania wants to talk this over. This is getting out of hand. And uh, while we've got time out on the floor, we will tell you about some of our sponsors, like Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC systems. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718 7556. Found in Sons Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Battlefield Toyota Chevrolet and Ford proudly serving the Culpepper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Spotsylvania with the basketball, Kelly Ross. Almost a steal there by Ella Corbett, and the ball comes loose. Cox. And foul's going to be called. Foul is called on Mate Alvarado. Three-pointed from way outside, no good. Cox comes down with the ball. Jayla Robinson for three. In and out. Hutcherson. Two on five break, and Hutcherson takes it all the way and misses it. Ishmael off the glass with the garbage basket for two. 20 to four. Ooh, that could have been called as a palming, but it was not. Jayla Black way outside. Robinson on her. Black gets by. Goes down the lane and can't get the ball to fall, but she draws the foul. Culpepper's defense is really causing problems for Spotsy tonight. They're playing good, hard, tough, uh, hard, tough nose defense and uh, with a lot of active hands tonight, causing a lot of turnovers. Well, they've held them four points in a quarter and uh, almost a quarter and a half. Libby Edwards. Edwards coming back into the ball game. Second shot coming for Jayla Black. And she missed them both. Robinson behind the back with the dribble. Underneath, beautiful, beautiful. Wide open, oh. and she missed it. 
And Hutcherson puts it up and she misses it, but she got fouled and will go to the line. See that, that play right there, Donnie, really shows me something because last year and early part of this year, you, you didn't see Amaya's head up, look, surveying the court, looking to pass the ball for easy baskets like that. Now she is, and that's the next step in her improving and becoming a potential college player. Hutchison misses the first, and Kelly will get a second. And one out of two. If I'm correct, that's her fifth point of the night. Cox. Ross, double team. Jella Black gets a pick. Goes down the lane with the left hand, no. Follow up is no good. Kelly Hutchison had it, lost it. Ross in the middle, black down low. Nice shot up and in by Kelly Ross. First points of the second quarter for Spotsylvania. Robinson can't get it to go off the glass, scramble for the loose ball, saved in, and then knocked out by Ishmael, or was it Ella Corbin? One of the two. There was a hand in there. Uh, not sure what that was all about. I know in the JV game we had some fan problems here with uh, some of the Culpeper fans getting a little overzealous. And Robinson missed that easy one. Hutchison missed an easy one. Both these kids have the tendency to just not take their time. I mean, you've got to finish those shots. Yeah, and, and it, it, it's, it comes back to practice. You know, they don't practice those. They take them for granted. If I'm coaching, I'm practicing those shots right there and going up strong and focusing on the, on the finish, on the release. Nice pass there. And Ishmael for an easy two, 23 to six. Nice pick there set by Ross. Ball out of bounds. We got a whistle, foul on somebody. And, and the reason, Donnie, I say that is because in the girls' game, you get a lot of easy shots under the basket. And if you can make those shots, you, you can be Todd Atkins of the girls. Remember Todd Atkins? He oh, lived, yeah. He lived and died inside with those shots. And he would he would get 40 points a game by making and finishing those shots. Well, I don't know that he got 40 points. He got 40 he points one game. Did yeah, he? Yes, he did. I yes. didn't remember that. Yes, and uh, if you can finish those shots. Whatever happened to Todd? Uh, I think he's still around. I'm not sure. but uh, yeah. um, I hadn't thought about him in a long time. Yeah, he was a good player. He was a good player. player. Yes, played with him a lot in, in, in uh, semi-pro ball, and he was good. Well, Robinson tried to dish it off to Olivia Edwards, and she wasn't paying attention, and the ball went off her arm out of bounds to Spotsylvania. And see, that's the difference, and I should, I'm sure you'll agree, in playing a team like Spotsylvania and playing a good team. If you play a team that's equal to your ability and you do things like that, you can't get away with it. Definitely. Black. And she is fouled, Amaya Black. Foul is called, and Amaya Black will go to the line for Spotsylvania. Her sister, Jayla, number 23. And Amaya can't get that one to go. Sis comes over, gives her a glad hand, and come on, let's get it in. And she does. 23 to seven. Hutchison, double two, or foul in the back. Jayla Black. I thought they were gonna call it earlier, they didn't, but. Uh, double at basketball. Ishmael gets it in to Amaya Robinson. She's got Ellie Cox on her. They've shifted over now. Jayla Black was guarding her. Maya can really handle that, that ball, Donnie. 
Piquet. Good pass there, too. Ishmael can't get it. Loose ball. In the corner, Kelly Hutcherson. No. Robinson. Up and in. That one rolled around. I thought that uh, she may have some trouble. Ella Corbin, 15, is in the ball game now. For Culpepper. Cox. Hand in there. Nice hand by Maya Robinson. Hutcherson all the way for two. Hutcherson's had a good first half, too. She she hustles, she plays, she's got a great attitude. She rebounds the ball well. Uh, she's she's going to have quite a senior year next year, I think. Maya Robinson made that play, though. She got that steal. Oh, nice move on the inside by Jayla Black. 27-9, 18-point lead. Hutcherson stops, pops, no, in and out. Maya Black gets it off. Jayla Black for three. Off the glass, no good. Loose ball. Black. Three pointer from the outside will not go. Cox has it knocked away. Ishmael right there again. Leads it out to Robinson. Missed it. Ishmael has got the rebound and is fouled. This kid. She plays, she has got a lot of heart. She plays hard from one end of the court to the other. Yep, and she's, she's a very good athlete and uh, always focused. I love the way this girl plays. Susie Ishmael. If I'm, if I'm Amaya Robinson, I'm really working on finishing uh, shots and practicing finishing shots because you know she can she can deal and wheel step back got the shot if she learns how to finish shots with authority and all it takes is concentration it, yeah it takes a lot of practice too a lot of practice and Jayla Black will go to the line foul down under that may have been on Amaya Whatever it is, it's uh, the two-shot penalty from now on for Culpepper. The thing about finishing shots, Donnie, is you're, you're contortioning your body in, in different ways to where you lose your balance. So you really have to gather yourself and get your balance and, you know, when you come to that final half split second to finish that shot. And that goes back to preparing yourself and yes. not, not rushing it. Yes. You, that one little half second, like you said, yep. makes all the difference in the world. Jayla Black, one out of two. And we got a foul on Jayla Black. Checking into the ball game now for the Devils. Checking in is number 22, Ariana Lambert. Lambert is in. And there's a steal. Jayla Black, left oh. hand off the glass. That's a very nice shot there. Really nice shot. Hutcherson, and a steal. All of a sudden, Sponsorania coming alive here. And Black one more time with the left hand. I like I like seeing the ball in Amaya's hand versus uh, hands versus Kelly's, um, and, and let Kelly run the court and get down in the low post more. Corbett off the glass. Sponsorania comes down with it. And we got a whistle. Double ball with 38 seconds left in the first half. 28 to 14, Culpepper leading. Kelly, or rather, Amaya Robinson missed it. Jayla Black the other way. Driving. Couldn't get it. Got her own rebound and put it back. That's three straight by Jayla Black. And all of a sudden, this, this runaway has gotten a little closer here. 
18 seconds. Robinson has it knocked away, but she's fouled. It was a 20-point lead at one point. Now it's 28-16, a 12-point lead for Culpepper. Jayla Black all, all of a sudden got uh, 13 points, Johnny. Robinson at the line. We'll get two. First one, nothing but net. Great rotation as always. She does. She has good fundamentals. Protocol. Protocol has to go to one official to the other official. And two out of two. 16 seconds, Botswana with the ball. Culpepper leading 30 to 16. Jayla Black, and we got a whistle and a foul. I don't know if you remember, Gary, but when I was in high school, the official had to hand you the ball. They could not bounce the ball. You out of bounds. They had to hand it and put it in your hand. Yes, I remember that. Come up and stand right beside you, and yep. Give it to you. If you didn't raise your hand on a foul, it was technical. Yes. <laughs> All kinds of good stuff. I remember the girls played. It was three and three. You had two girls on the one side, on the offensive side, two girls on the defensive side, and two rovers. <laughs> it was. They said girls couldn't, were not capable of running that far that fast. Was that in the Kate Carter days? Oh, that was before, before Kate. Kate Carter. Yeah. Somebody was crazy. I played against some of these girls and they are tough. Robinson with three seconds. Can she get it off? She did, but it will not go. First half comes to an end with a score. The Culpepper Blue Devils 30, the Spotsylvania Knights 17. We'll be back with the second half of tonight's game after our halftime show. Able Heating and Air answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech. Located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. 13-point lead for the Culpepper Blue Devil girls uh, over Spotsylvania, 30-17. to 17. Gary Deal, it was uh, all Culpepper in the first half. Could have been worse if they'd made some more shots. Yeah, they missed, like you said, Diane, they missed a lot of shots inside. And, but they did play really good defense. Um, uh, except, uh, you know, with Jayla Black in the last five minutes of the uh, second quarter, uh, she got a lot of baskets there in a, in a spurt that really kind of kept Spotsy in the game to some degree. She got 14 to the first half for Spotsylvania and Amaya Robinson 14 for the Devils. And uh, Kelly Hutchison was seven. Ishmael had four. And Susie right there with the steal. Lost it, but kept after it and touched last by Spotsylvania. That kid hustles. She's she's made uh, a difference in the first half for Culpepper. She with her hustle and coming up with loose balls and, and she, playing defense. She almost didn't play basketball. Remember? She, yes. She wanted to concentrate on track. And uh, Del Hutchison talked her into coming back out. And uh, she's she is a good defensive player. Always around the basketball. Jella Black. Nice, oh, nice move by Jail Black. 16 points for her tonight. By Robinson. 
Off the glass, no good. Rebound comes down. Jayla Black. This kid is all over the place. Man, that was a deal that buys pass. <laughs> she threw it right in among the trees there. There was no nothing but branches there. She couldn't hit him. Well, like shooting an arrow through the middle of the woods. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you keep your head down and you're not, you don't have your head up in your eyes looking, surveying the court. Well, sometimes you, your pass is also just uh, like a, a second behind. She was open, but then she's not. But she wasn't. Cox. Is it out to black? Maya Robinson has been guarding her all night. And hand in there by Ella. Emma Carson, rather. Spots it, keeps the ball outside. Nice shot up there by Amaya Black. 30 to 21, Spotsylvania back within nine. This was a 20 point victory for Culpepper the first time around. Well, this, this is what happens when, when you don't have a good motion to your offense. Uh, there's a lot of ball watching by everybody other than Kelly Hutcherson and Amaya Robinson. You gotta work that ball, you gotta have good motion, you gotta have good spacing, and uh, the players have to go to certain positions on the court and they're not they're really not doing that. They're just kind of playing backyard right now, and uh, they need to get into a routine for for uh, motion offense. Ella Corbin shot up and in. She'll have a second one. 31-21, 10-point lead for Culpepper, and she missed the second one. And here comes Black down the lane. Little twist there off the board. Can't get it to go. Almost got it back. Robinson. And she banks it home for her 16th point. That pass right there by Kelly Hutcherson, not every high school girl could do that. She had some zip on that ball, Donnie, on that two-handed chest pass. She did. And that gave Amaya the, the spacing to make that shot. Yep. Black gets past Robinson. Dumps it down low, back outside. Amaya Black off the mark for three. Robinson one on three, takes it all the way and missed it. And Amaya Black comes down with a loose ball. And that's where we go with finishing the shot again, Donnie. It's about four, four shots that Amaya's missed by just not finishing. And she's a sophomore. By the time she's a senior, she's going to make it, be making 90% of those. If she keeps improving. Exactly. She's got to work on that. Ross, you got to work with her on that. Ross Williams. And stepping on the line, I think is what was called. Yes, and it will turn over to Spotsylvania. You know, sometimes you, you, it's difficult with kids. You never know. As Cox puts up a three and misses it, ball comes off. I played with a kid in high school who was a couple of years ahead of me. As a sophomore, he was a tremendous catcher, and everybody thought, man, by the time he graduates, he's going to be pro material. He never improved a bit. Sometimes it, you just mature fast, and you've got to work to improve more. Yes. And you've got to put that work in, because you can't always count on your natural talent to take you but so far. That's exactly right. From the corner, three-point shot will not go. Culpepper with the loose ball. Robinson all the way. Oh, nice move there. You can't teach that one. That's just instinct. 18 for Robinson. Emma Carson coming down with the ball. Robinson with Cox on her. Carson, short. Spotsylvania the rebound. And look who's there. Susie <laughs> Ismael, of course, a jump ball. Arrow <laughs> pointing in Spotsylvania's direction. But wait a minute now. What? We're... 
Officials are getting their heads together, which is always a dangerous situation as we learn down in Texas. And this is what I thought, the arrow was pointing in the direction of uh, Culpepper. Hutchison, off the mark. Another shot inside, missed. Spotsylvania having trouble getting past the mid-court line, but Jayla Black finally makes it. Amaya Black from the corner, short. Hutcherson. Good rebound by Kelly that time. Good, good outlet pass. One-on-one, -on -one and Robinson puts it in. That's 20, if I'm correct. Yes, 20 points. Jayla Black, no. Emma Carson. Corbin, Ishmael at the top of the key, Hutcherson, no, and Emma Carson got the rebound and is fouled. See, that's where Kelly's got to get that ball in the low post and use her athletic ability and her body and get in there a little bit lower and just turn and off the glass for two. She could do that against anybody in the high school level right now, I believe, or give a pump fake once in a while. If she did that, if he learns how to do that, Culpepper can go a long way. But she's got to be a force in there to but, do that. And, and she's kind of shot that flat-footed rather than going yes, up. Yes, yes. She's got to draw the foul, like you said earlier. Second shot coming for Emma Carson. And that's it. 37-21 to as the Devilettes lengthen the lead. Spotsylvania had gotten it back down to nine earlier this quarter. Down low. Oh, nice pass, but no go for Kelly Ross. Robinson triple team. Between three people, Donnie. Score. And she <laughs> scored 22. I saw that coming. Yeah. That looked like a chip oots of old. <laughs> she would not be denied. <laughs> And that's good against this caliber talent. But yes. if she was playing a better team, right. she wouldn't have a chance. Like Orange. Robinson. 243 to go. Robinson for three-pointer. No good. Spotsylvania the rebound. Amaya Black out to her sister. Jayla driving. Missed it. Two shots missed. Finally, they kick it out to Amaya Black. Uh, and Susie Ismail right there to steal with her the pass. 35th steal of the night, Donnie. <laughs> Good pass. Nice pass. Yes, now I like that. That's, well, that's, but she almost had to pass that because she was tripping and falling and she had to get rid of it. That was good thinking. Oh, man, this kid can play the game and she's. Begging for a foul there, Jayla Black. Robinson, long three. Way off the bar. And a travel. And the person that caused that travel was Emma Carson. She was right there. 42-23, back to a 19-point lead. And whistle, 134 to go, third period, 42-23. See, if I like to see Kelly start on the low block, come up to the high post, work off the high post some, drop her down to the low block, post her up down there, play catch with Amaya Robinson over in the corner, and that would... It would, it would work so well it, to allow Kelly to dominate in the low post and Amaya to dominate from the outside or drive. Postel now in the ball game goes in and is fouled. Caitlin Postel, it's the first time she's been in the ball game. We've seen her have a couple of good nights too. She's a good little player. Now this supporting cast has to come through 
in order for Kelly Hutcherson and Amaya Robinson to get their points. Postel can't get that one to go. Checking in is number 34, Sydney Patton. And the one thing I like uh, is that the supporting cast, they do buy in to Amaya Robinson and Kelly Hutcherson. They, they want them to take the majority of the shots, and I like that. I, like I've said before, I'd rather have my good shooters take somewhat semi-bad shots than my bad shooters to take good shots. Bostow gets the second one, 43-23, 20-point lead for Culpepper. Jayla Black is fouled. Black has, uh, how many points has Black got tonight? She has 18 points tonight. 18 points. She's having a good night. Mm -hmm. She's a good player. She is a very good player. And she knows how to finish down there. She's gone up for some of those with a little spin on the ball off the glass. Looks really good. And Pat finally gets to come into ball game. She wanted to come in and uh, the official held it back. Now she's in there as Jayla Black. 20 points. Checking in for the Knights, number 11, Morgan. Sponsoring now sending some uh, subs in. Morgan Muslock, number 11 in. Coming down on the last minute of the third quarter. Robinson goes between two, goes between three, and throws the ball away. So a little, little impatient on that possession. Uh, needs to be a little smarter, a little more patient. Kelly Ross, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds uh, will belong to Culpepper. You always, when you're playing on the court, even if you got a big lead, you still want to look good on the court. So oh. you don't want to put, put yourself in position to look bad. Well, all I have to do is stand out there, <laughs> and I look good. <laughs> you know, like Andre Agassi always said, <laughs> image is everything. Image is everything. That's right. Oh, I you, had, you had the image back in the uh, – in the late 70s and, and 80s, Donnie. You on the mean court. I don't now? On the court. Oh. Yeah, you still have that image. Thank you. As, yep, you still have that image as author and commentator. You better say that because I'll cut off your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> timeout on the floor with 28 seconds left. And with timeout, we will pause for 30 seconds. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. We are back. 4325. Culpepper leading Spotsylvania, and uh, right now, Gary, I want to give you my condolences. Your sister died yesterday, and um, she was a neighbor of mine. Uh, her husband, Junior Miller, ran the sawmill over next to me. Fine people, and my sympathies go to the family. Yes, um, and my sister, back when I was younger especially, was like my second mom because there's 20 age, 20 year age difference, and uh, uh, I don't know if many of the listeners out there remember Tony Miller or not, but him and I grew up together, and uh, he's actually my nephew, and I'm his uncle, was his uncle, and uh, with only six months difference, so Marjorie was a uh, was a great woman. Pennsylvania goes in and uh, getting fouled is Ellie Cox. And her husband, Junior, was uh, pastor up at uh, Gordon Baptist Church for a long time, where well, I, I hold my membership. Yes, for, and, and well-loved up there by uh, the members of the church, both of them. Doc's second shot is good. Whistle. It's not going to count. I think she was over the line, or somebody was. 
Two seconds left. Can Spotsylvania get off a shot? No, they cannot. Third quarter comes to an end with a score. Culpepper 43 and Spotsylvania 26. You're watching Culpepper High School Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, searching for a promising career, trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. Well, we're coming down to the final eight minutes of this ball game. This uh, Battlefield District contest between Spotsylvania and Culpepper. It's Culpepper leading by a score of 43-26. The uh, Devils pulled out to a 8-2 first quarter lead and have not been headed since. Spotsylvania with the ball. And a steal. Emma Carson coming up with that loose ball. Hutcherson down the lane, can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds by Spotsylvania. That's where, that's where uh, Kelly brought the ball up the court nice. But when she got in that lane, she wasn't profound with her moves. And that, that's what she's got to learn how to do. She's got to be profound because, like I said earlier, her body is there. Her athletic ability is there. It's just that skill that she's got to learn this summer. To, to be able to finish those shots next year. Amaya Robinson. And we got a whistle. Foul is going to be called on Emma Carson. Twenty-four points now for. Amaya Robinson as a travel is called. And Spotsy turns it over to Culpepper. Hutcherson lost the handle, but luckily somebody was there for the Devlets. Hutcherson up. Can't get it to go, but she was partially blocked by Ross, and Ross is charged with a foul. Got her with the body. I think another uh, resource that would really help Kelly too is taking that ball above her head and extend a little bit more instead of shooting it down at her uh, face level when she tries to finish inside. It just it, takes a lot of practice. It just gives, but it, uh, when you shoot it low, it gives the other team a chance to block it or yep. just interfere with your shot. But she makes both of those. 47 to 26, 21 point lead, biggest of the night for the Devilettes. I think with Kelly though, if she works hard this summer and the rest of this year, she's gonna be quite the player her senior year. Black down low and a steal by Emma Carson. Hutcherson driving. Up for the left hand and in. Nice move that time. 49-26. The lead is continues to build. And Black takes the two away. Robinson all the way. Missed it. I see those are easy shots that she really should be getting. Yeah, and, and the reason she's not is because she's fading away instead of going into the basket into the basket to draw the foul at, at the worst case. Yeah, you just gotta force it up there and, and you know, keep a solid handle on the ball till it gets up. Jayla Black 
Having a great night tonight. I know Ross Williams is working with uh, uh, with Amaya, and I know he teaches going into the basket, into the defender uh, on those finishes. So yeah. she'll get it. It's just it's just going to take a little while. Black one out of two to the free throw line. Robinson backs away and cans a three. When she's hot, she is hot. 27 now for Amaya Robinson. And, and she's got a beautiful step back shot. I mean, oh, that, she does. That's hard to uh, to uh, maneuver into that and to conquer. So, and look at that outlet pass by Kelly. And yeah, look at that two points. 30 points now for Robinson. And Kelly Hutchison that time forced that turnover. Right there at the midcourt, she forced the opponent to throw the ball away. Nice play by Kelly Hutcherson. I love Kelly Hutcherson's attitude. She's oh. all she's all uh, player. No, you don't see any attitude with her. She's out nope. there hustling, and I uh, love that about her. The team what? team player too. Right. Whether she's hot or whether she's cold, same Good pass. facial expressions. And Kelly Hutcherson, nice pass down there for two. Good pass by uh, Susie Ishmael all the time. And a steal. Robinson twice, and Ishmael puts it in. Six for Ishmael. All right, we got a timeout on the floor, 517. Spotsylvania wants to talk this over, and we will pause for 30 seconds. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sun. 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. 29 points tonight for Amaya Robinson, 23 points on the other end for Jayla Black for Spotsylvania. These kids going at it head to head. And um, 18 points now for Kelly Hutcherson. So we got we got some scoring going on here, Mr. Deal. Yeah, I'm sorry, Donnie. I showed you the wrong number. It's 15 for Kelly. Uh, that 18 was for uh, Amaya early. So it's 15 for Kelly Hutcherson. Playing well, though. She's playing a, a good game. And, um, of course, Amaya is playing a good game, too. And, Ishmael is playing a really good game. Well, Kelly's averaging about 15 points a game, and uh, Amaya is right at her average, a little past her average, which is 27. So all things are as usual. Spotsylvania trailing now by 29 points. Black. She's probably just about been a one-man show tonight for Spotsylvania. Gets it out to her sister. Mary Ross, no. And Kelly Hutchinson. Ooh, a strong it rebound. And there was another occasion where Amaya Robinson was off balance, knew she was going to double, uh, double dribble or walk, and got it off to Kelly Hutchinson for an easy basket. She's really improving with uh, uh, getting her teammates involved in the game. It's instinct. Yes. That, and you can't teach that. Oh, nice three-pointer there by Amaya Black. 60 to 32, it's a 28-point lead as Hutchison, or rather Amaya Robinson puts up three, that's all. Checking in the Blue Devils, number 22, Ariana Lambert. Checking in for the Blue Four minutes and five seconds left to go in this ball game. Culpepper, if they hold on, and I assume they will, will even their record to seven wins and seven losses. But uh, even more important, they'll go to six and three in the battlefield district. Six and two, six and two in the battlefield. <laughs> and we've got a foul call of Jayla Black. Which, which may mean if they keep winning in the battlefield, uh, Donnie, they'll be in what, number one or number two seed. They could well be. 
Battlefield is not strong this year. So they would have a good chance at the end. Robinson steps back and shoots from somewhere in Brandy, I think. And well, if I'm, I'm Coach Dell, I, I, I want to see a little uh, ball movement and a little motion in the offense, a little working in the low post to Kelly and let her kick it back out. Get them to work together instead of just coming down, throwing the ball up. I mean, I want to see my team practice. Yeah, you want to get something positive out of it. Jella Black missed. Kelly Hutchison rips it away. Leads it ahead to Robinson, who drives to Hutchison. Nice move. Hutchison missed it. Robinson for two. That's 31 for Amaya. Robinson. 62-32. It's a 30-point lead for the Devilettes. And we are seeing Amaya Robinson at her best with 30, 31 points. Ishmael, loose ball. Looking for help and gets it over to Kelly Hutcherson. Robinson stops along the baseline, puts in two more for 33. Once she gets going, Donnie, she's tough. And she's she's in shape. She's got good stamina. She's played the whole game. Oh, yeah. So she doesn't look tired uh, really at all. Cox outside. Trying to work a play here. There's double entry to zone. Black. Shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Culpepper. And I think we got a travel. I'm not sure what was, what that call was. Culpepper JV has won tonight. That was an easy victory for Culpepper. Now we got uh, Susie Ishmael going out. And we'll pick them up for you as we go along. Alvarado is in, number one. Culpepper with the steal. And Postel is fouled. Had a few elbows swinging between the ladies there in that possession. <laughs> well, he's getting, you know, this is, this is basketball. This is basketball, this tough is basketball. basketball. That's right. Postel will throw it in. Caitlin Postel. Alvarado to Robinson. Back step step behind back. the three. <laughs> she loves that step back. She's got it down, too. Well, at, a, at, that. A, at a very young age, Donnie. Yep. Jayla Black for two. Black just keeps putting them in there for Spotsylvania. 20 seconds and counting. And this one will be history. This may be a half court shot here, Donnie. I can feel it coming. I don't think we're going to shoot at all because. Oh, that was a bad call. Yeah, that was not a five second call, but she was not highly contested. No. That and was with running clock, the game is over. Final score, Culpepper 64, Spotsylvania 34. We'll be back with our post-game show in just a moment. You're watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, searching for a promising career, trained to be a certified, always-in-demand machinist at New Pathways Tech. 
located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. 64-34 is their final score. The Culpeper Blue Devils girls uh, just kind of destroy Spotsylvania Gary Deal. They, uh, it, was, it was Spotsylvania at one point in the third quarter got it back to within nine. I, I think it was 30-21. to 21. After that, it was all Culpeper. Amaya Robinson, Kelly Hutchison just, just took it to the bar. Yeah, exactly. And, and like we were saying pregame, they're fun to watch. They're fun to watch, and if they improve some uh, as the year goes on before the playoffs and start working the ball and learning how to, you know, to post up, I think, Kelly Hutchinson a little bit more, and she learns how to finish a little bit better and move her around from the high post to the low post and work, uh, and work, work it in with Amaya on the perimeter, they could, go, they could really improve a lot uh, when they play tougher competition. Well, Kelly, uh, Amaya had 33 points tonight, and she missed at least five easy layups underneath and uh, Kelly was 17 points and she missed equally that many yeah and so you know they you could almost had two kids with a 40 and a 30 score tonight but uh, they played well and um, improved their record down to seven and seven but even better than that they were six and two in the district yeah and I thought they played good man-to-man -man defense a lot of good pressure defense now you can't tell because of skill level other than uh, Jayla Black, who had 25 points of the 34 total that Spotsylvania had. You can't really tell from that competition, but I thought they played good defense, scrapped hard, and uh, Susie Ismael was the leader of that uh, defense. Susie Ismael, good ball player. All right, that just about does it for tonight's ball game. Uh, it was a runaway, 64-34. The Devils beat the... Spotsylvania Knights, uh, Spotsylvania now three wins and 11 losses on the season. Culpepper goes to seven and seven. So until next time, Donnie Johnston, Gary Deal, bidding you a very pleasant good evening. We're reminding you once again the final score of tonight's ball game. Culpepper 64, Spotsylvania 34. You've been watching Blue Devil Basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. Thank you.